Hello and welcome to another what would happen video. In today's video, I will show you exactly what would happen if you change anything in a running automation. What changes am I talking about? These could be any or all of the following. Number 1. Changing the trigger list. Number 2. Changing the delay period. Number 3. Editing the content of your sequence emails. Number 4. Changing the order of the emails in the sequence or series. Number 5. Adding or removing sub-triggers. And number 6. Adding or removing an email to the series. So, what would happen if you change the trigger list? A list is used as a trigger to run an automation. When someone is added to the trigger list, subscribers go through the automation. When this trigger list is changed, two things happen. 1. All subscribers that belong to the old list and are already in the automation will continue down the series. New subscribers added to the old list will no longer be added to the automation. 2. All new subscribers to the new trigger list will go through the entire automation. What happens if you change the delay period? The delay period is the amount of time that SendFox has to wait before sending the email. When the delay period is changed in a running automation, the change will only apply to new subscribers that are added to the trigger list after the change has been made. All other subscribers that are already going through the automation will ignore this change and follow the old delay period they were queued for. The same mechanism happens when you edit the content of one or all of your sequence emails, change the order of the emails in the sequence, add or remove sub-triggers, or when you add an email newsletter. What happens when you pause the automation and make the changes? The same process applies when the automation is paused. An automation that is paused will only pause the automation engine, meaning everything will be halted. When someone opts into a trigger list of a paused automation, this subscriber will be excluded from the automation when the automation resumes. So what can you do? Let me show you how you can work around this. Let's assume you have made changes to a running automation. Do the following. Log into your SendFox account. Click on Automations. You will be taken to your Automations dashboard. Here, you will see the title of your automation, the trigger list, the number of emails the series has, and its status. Take note of the trigger list. Then, toggle the drop-down menu next to the automation and select Add Subscribers. You will then be taken to this page. The page reads, Select the contact list to add to this workflow. Click here to toggle the selection of lists you have. Select the appropriate trigger list. Then, click Add New Subscribers to Queue. This would add the contacts to the queue and apply the changes you have made in your automation. Please remember that contacts that have already received emails from the automation will not receive them again even if changes to that email newsletter have been made. This prevents you from spamming your contacts with relatively the same email content. But what happens when a contact record has not confirmed their double opt-in email? I will tell you more about it in our next What Would Happen video. For more information, send us an email at support at sendfox.com and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video.